Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. It is Crypto Lamb here. Thank you very much for coming to my channel, subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment as well, especially to let me know what you think about my content and the videos indeed that I put out. So uh, there's not really much to talk about right now. I'm still on the lookout for some good new NFT projects and nothing's really catching my eye right now. I'm still heavily in VMates uh, currently, as you can see here. Let me just go ahead and connect my uh, wallet and I need to make sure it's on the right chain, of course, which is on the uh, smart chain, uh, I believe. Yes, connect wallet, go. There we go. So at the moment, I, as you can see, I've gone in a little bit harder. I've got 302 mate uh, staked uh, on the three months uh, staking platform. I've got 203 mates on the six month uh, for 150% APY. And then I've just got another 512 uh, just kind of sat there doing nothing at the moment in anticipation for the game beta release on the 20th, which is just in a couple of days time, which I think is going to be absolutely awesome. So if you haven't got your mate token yet, I suggest that you might want to go and get it. This is not financial advice. Investments in crypto assets are not regulated. They may not be appropriate for retail investments. Uh, investors and the full amount invested may be lost. And I'm saying that because Spain have just uh, announced new regulation which comes into force in one month's time, specifically for people who have 100,000 followers or more. It seems to be more aimed at uh, Twitter and Instagram, Facebook uh, ads for crypto uh, specifically, but essentially uh, if you do not comply with their regulations, you will potentially receive a €300,000 fine for non-compliance. And they're saying that you, if you do intend to advertise a crypto asset, you have to let them know 10 days before you do so uh, in order to uh, stay within regulation. But like I said, that only applies to people with over 100,000 followers, uh, 100,000 followers or more. And I only have 600. So right now, I'm good. I don't need to worry about it. It's fine. No issues whatsoever. So yeah, anyway, I'm in uh, I'm in VMates quite heavily at the moment, and I'm very happy uh, with the direction of where that's going at the moment. The price is fluctuating a little bit as people are just kind of being impatient, not really know what's going on. I don't think a lot of people actually pay attention to what a lot of these projects do. They don't read the white paper or the updates and stuff like that. They get bored and sell and FUD their own projects, and it's kind of dumb. If you're going to go and put your money in something, look at the information, read about it, understand it. You know, but it is what it is. So, you know, if you don't know, go over to vmates.io and check it out. Their game is uh, the beta for their game is being released on the 20th, and I intend to do a full covering of that. It is not a paid shill. I am not being paid by vmates to do that video. It is just a really awesome project that they potentially will be going into VR later on as well. So, we will see how that pans out. So the other project that I'm in at the moment is Police and Feath. They did an AMA yesterday with uh, the developer Sixes, and uh, they also haven't released the white paper completely yet, but they did release a Medium post, which is essentially the, the white paper, but they've still got to put graphics and, and so on and so forth into it. So as you can see, we're not, uh, we're not earning any loot right now. So the way it's going to work, from my understanding, is that you will be able to earn bribe, which you can then stake for loot, and then you can use the loot to uh, then uh, upgrade your NFTs. Um, but it only specifically spoke about the thieves to start with that I can see. So essentially, when you upgrade your thieves, you will be um, making them sneakier, according to the white paper, which means they'll earn more bribe, which you can get more loot with. I, I don't know. I don't know. So... It's, it's read the paper, go into the Discord, go into the Telegram. Uh, but it's looking good quite now. The, the floor price for the NFTs is still going up quite a bit, so it still looks quite good right now. The price of loot, on the other hand, has been a little bit volatile. It is creeping back up now, though, 0 0.0044. Uh, it did peak at 0 0.006, but I think towards the end of the week or whenever they release uh, phase two or get that started properly, I think that will start to skyrocket and then we'll see the new introduction of the new token bribe, which will also potentially go. You can't buy it right now as far as I know. Um, I don't even know if you will be able to buy it at all or if it's just, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Not a clue, but we will find out more towards the end of the week. So right now, it's exciting. Don't know a lot about what's going on. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see where it takes us. So like I said, 
V-Mates is the uh, the next one I'm interested in right now. Police and Thief game is really good. Uh, some of the guys in my Telegram are still playing with uh, Mars Colony. That's not something I'm in anymore. I have decided to move on to other projects for now. And that's not because there's any issue with uh, Mars Colony. They've done incredibly well. Um, they've actually done extraordinarily well. But I felt I've done as much as I can with the video for now. Until they release something substantial with the project itself, there's not really a lot I can do. Um, so I may go back into that in the future. So yeah, the video uh, thumbnail and title, as you would have guessed, is talking about Walmart, of all things. Walmart are quietly preparing to enter the metaverse. That's what this article from CNBC says, with Walmart apparently venturing into the uh, metaverse with plans to create its own cryptocurrency and collection of NFTs. The big box retailer filed several, filed several new trademarks late last month that indicate its intent to make and sell virtual goods. In a separate filing, the company said it would also offer users a virtual currency as well as non-fungible tokens or NFTs. So, it looks like Walmart are going into the metaverse, they filed patents, and they're going to be offering their users NFTs and virtual currencies and so on and so forth. Now, whether or not you'll be able to trade those for virtual goods is anybody's guess. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on with my hair. I don't know. The world is upside down right now. This is just completely bizarre to me. Now, the, the thing is... That isn't the thing that isn't bizarre to me, right? Is when you see Gap, for example, Gap Threads launch their own NFT collection. So you can get the copper, silver, rose gold, gold, uh, and all the common metal ones like teal, green, indigo, purple, yellow. It's like when they got to teal, they were like, shit, we've run out of colors. What do we use? You know, so <laughs> it's like teal. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of bizarre. They're all sold out, and you've got the uh, the common ones being sold for two Tezos each, uh, which uh, I think for the for the expensive one, six Tezos is like twenty five dollars uh, that they are. But they're all sold out. They're all gone. Whether or not they end up getting traded again later, I have no idea. Do they exist on any sort of uh, you know marketplace somewhere? I don't think so. They can probably be privately traded um but the uh airdrop or epic drop as they say happens on the 19th so uh not tomorrow the day after there will be an epic drop so go over to nftgap.com see what's happening there i don't know if you'll be able to get yourself something that could be potentially quite special because later you'll be able to buy an epic nft to claim your in real life merch so you'll be able to buy gap clothing using an nft i guess Apparently, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff. But Nike are doing the same. Nike just bought a virtual shoe company that makes NFTs and sneakers for the metaverse. So when you go into games like Sandbox uh, and a few other, and V-Mates as well, when they release, they will have their own areas where you could potentially have Nike with a shop where you can go in and buy virtual Nike trainers for some reason. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But ultimately, when people go in, they're going to buy what they want to buy. People are going to give things value that they want to give uh, value. Ultimately, you know, and who am I to say, you know, what's worth and what's, you know, what's worth something and what's not worth something? You know, at the end of the day, people will decide what they want to do. Where you had uh, people buying sheep uh, NFTs that were selling for ridiculous amounts of money. Um, you know, it, yeah, the world is going very bizarre with a lot of uh, businesses like Walmart and Nike and Gap and so many others uh, that are starting to go into the metaverse uh, kind of realm where they can start selling their own projects. Now, according to Google, uh, the number one sold item in Walmart is bananas. So I, for one, want to see a banana NFT from Walmart. Um, I will buy that. I will quite happily buy that just because, just, just to own it. You know, not, not to sell it or anything else. I just want a Walmart NFT banana. Yeah, that, that'll do nicely. I'll be quite happy with that. So, like I said, it's a little bit of a slow news day at the moment. There's not really any projects that are catching my eye right now. If there is a project that you want me to take a look at, uh, or maybe a new uh, thing in the, in, in the net NFT or metaverse kind of area, leave a comment below or come along to my Telegram and let me know. I will try and sort my hair out for next time. It's being ridiculous right now. It's just getting in my face and won't go away. 
Uh, but if you want me to review something, take a look at something, try something, or just, just get into it because it's going to be amazing, then come into my Telegram, let me know about it, leave a comment in the video as well, like, subscribe, and share the video as well. Let's grow the channel, but only to about 95,000 subscribers, please, not 100,000 because Spain doesn't like that for some reason. Um, and uh, yeah, have a nice day. I will catch you all tomorrow with a new fresh video, and don't forget, on the 20th, I will be doing a full coverage of the beta release of the VMates pet game. Take care. Bye-bye.